As we finish up our daily reading through the book of Jeremiah, I think it's time we revisit the question, was Jeremiah successful in his prophesying to the nation of Judah? In chapter 52, the fall of Jerusalem is recounted to us, the death of King Zedekiah, the temple is ransacked and utterly destroyed, and the remaining leadership is led away to meet their end before King Nebuchadnezzar. This doesn't sound like the resume of someone who's successful, does it? But hold on for just one minute. Let's recall God's mission statement to Jeremiah all the way back in chapter 1. In that passage, God tells Jeremiah that he will be used to declare God's judgment against Jerusalem because of its worship of idols and unrepentant heart. God promised to fortify Jeremiah in this task because no one would listen to his warnings. So when we come to the end of Jeremiah, we see the fulfillment of the promised judgment against Judah. If we were to make an assessment of Jeremiah's service to God based off the way things appear from a limited human perspective, we would think he failed. Surely a successful prophet could have prevented all this from happening, but in actuality, Jeremiah was successful at the much more difficult task of remaining faithful, knowing that he would never be listened to or accepted. How does this apply to us today? Sometimes it's easy for us to look at people and assess how successful we feel they are based off our limited perspective. We look at the number of degrees they have, their salary, even the number of charitable deeds they do, and we get caught up in a comparison game. How about today? Instead of characterizing success by those metrics, why don't we change our mindset to characterizing success by faithfulness to the calling God has placed on a person's life? If God has called you to be a mechanic, a mom, a carpenter, a salesman, or whatever it might be, don't gauge your success today by any other metric than being faithful to God's calling. Whatever mission God has given you, live it to the fullest for his glory today.